Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm finally going to put out a video on building the CDH-110. Uh, what I have laid out here on this table is the custom cylinder head that I had Smolik Performix make <clears throat> for a 52 uh, millimeter size piston. Uh, I'm using a flat top piston so it will work for my 56 maybe in the future um, I might be able to ask for a custom made one if I wanted to use a 56 millimeter piston with a crown I have my custom intake laid out with the case read and I have the cases already pre-modified um, to accept the case read. Right here I am just cutting down the length of the custom sleeve I am making, getting it ready to be mapped out so that I can do the porting. <laughs> There's the piece we were after. Really a good clean cut. Skipped around a little bit in the beginning, but it's absolutely it looks worse on the camera than it is. But, uh, just going to be great. There's the beginning of our new sleeve. Well, there's the start of it. Not too shabby. I'm going to come in here and get the rest of these lines out. I'm sure that I've showed you enough. It does. This takes forever to do all this stuff. Um, then I'll have to come in here with a grinder and get the rest of these out. Uh, you know, follow this actual line where my whole saw didn't get it out. And uh, we'll keep going. Now some of you might be wondering, why am I putting a quarter inch spacer in? Um, and the reason is that I chose a different piston. That's the whole reason for sleeving it. Uh, I went to a 56. And that 56 is physically taller and the wrist pin hole is, is lowered. So it essentially raises the piston up when you connect it to the connecting rod here's a very similar situation you can see how much higher the hole is on the original 52 and this is a 58 and you can see that the center of it is a lot lower and that essentially will raise the piston up when it's connected so that's essentially the the only reason why i'm putting the spacer in not really about more crankcase volume because it will create a little bit more, but you know that's I just don't want the piston to hit the head. So for those of you that are wondering, now you know. One issue that you will run into this if you do choose the same style piston is you will have to extend the studs. Um, I did find uh, studs that were longer. I did have to order them 
and they ended up doing the job perfectly. Here I am showing you the way I'm measuring out uh, the ports for the custom cylinder or custom sleeve I'm doing. Um, I always start from the top down with my measurements. Uh, I just find it to be easier and I always give myself a millimeter or two of, of grace with the measurements. Um, these are just rough ends. Once I have it, you know, cut them out and I have it sent out and sleeved and brought back then I can truly verify uh, where exactly I want the sleeves or the where exactly I want the ports and then I'll you know hand dremel those in and make them really nice and clean I am showing you my custom uh, built clutch plate. I'm sure you've seen people do these before. Uh, I ended up just taking the uh, star nut and putting a few healthy tacks on uh, a clutch disc. And then I just drilled it or I just tapped the holes with a seven millimeter tap and used uh, bolts to go down in. And then I just used 25 millimeter uh, tall yellow springs. The yellow springs seem to be more than capable of handling the kind of power I'm putting at it. Thanks for watching everybody, here's a sneak peek at the engine running. Dang.